Hello and welcome. I am Dr. Ankit Parak and I work as a consultant in pediatric pulmonology, allergy and sleep medicine at Children's Chest Clinic in Delhi and BLK Max Hospital in Delhi. In this video, we will briefly talk about treatment of tuberculosis in children. So, tuberculosis is caused by a bacteria known as Mycobacterium tuberculosis. It is a slow growing bacteria and hence the treatment of tuberculosis is quite different from other bacteria. It requires multiple medicines and it requires a longer course of treatment. Now, Before we start treatment for tuberculosis, it has to be a proper diagnosis. Now, Usually the diagnosis of tuberculosis in children is based on symptoms and x-rays. It is important to understand that now microbiological diagnosis is extremely important which means that we should be able to demonstrate a tuberculosis bacilli in some sample for example a sputum sample or a lymph node aspirate if the child has a large lymph node in the neck or somewhere. Sometimes we take a sample from the tummy of the child which is known as a gastric aspirate or we try to nebulize the child and then take a induced sputum sample. Now it is important to demonstrate the TB bacteria and it is also important to check the bacteria for resistance against the most important medicine which is known as rifampicin. If the bacteria is sensitive to rifampicin, the normal tuberculosis drugs are used. If the bacteria is resistant to rifampicin, then it has to be treated in a different way altogether and the treatment is for a multi-drug resistant tuberculosis. More than 95% of children will have a drug sensitive type of tuberculosis. In this situation, there are two phases of treatment. The first two months are known as the intensive phase where we use four medicines, rifampicin, isoniazid, pyrazinamide and ethambutol. And after two months, the next four months, which is known as the continuation phase, we use four medicines which are isoniazid, rifampicin and ethambutol. During the follow-up, we, we look at symptoms of the child, weight gain, how is the child feeling, what is happening to night sweats and so on. And we might include some investigations like an ultrasound or an x-ray depending on where the tuberculosis is but usually at two months and then at the end of treatment. So if your child has been diagnosed with tuberculosis or has symptoms of tuberculosis, do get in touch with a child TB specialist for proper diagnosis and treatment.